Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys. And today we are going to be trying this Lovenbroi. Lovenbroi, yeah. Lovenbroi. Lovenbrow is that if we were in a bar and you were asking for it. Yeah. That's just the traditional see the German right and go. Lovenbroi, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. Lovenbroi. Lovenbroi Oktoberfest beer. This is the second in our series of Oktoberfest beers that we're doing today. Yeah. The Brilliant. I see you're looking for me for a bit of history. Uh, yeah. Do you want some Oktoberfest history? Tell or me some all Lloyd about it. <laughs> Both. Anything. Hey, well, I mean, like you say, it's one of the six beers to be brewed at Oktoberfest. So have a guess how many beers are drunk litre-wise at Oktoberfest. Can you guess? 16 to 19 days. Uh, so 16 to 19 days. So we're looking almost three weeks at the most. I'm going to say... Three million. Three million. Pints. Three million pints. Five million pints. Five million pints. So don't forget these are served in litres. So five million will be obviously two point five litres. Two and a half, yeah, half, half litres. Uh, I'll stop you. Eight million litres. So that's sixteen. Well, it's just short. Well, what's that? About like fourteen million pints. Wow. In three weeks. In less than three, three weeks. weeks. It builds. In, it brings in billions to the economy. That's crazy. And do you know what? When I've been there, it's not been that expensive. It's been less than twelve euros for a stein. So less than six euros for a, a pint of brilliant six percent, roughly beer. So o Oktoberfest, eighteen ten, celebrating at the time Prince Ludwig ended up being Prince uh, King Lud uh, Ludwig the first. Yeah. Uh, married Theresa, uh, and traditionally the field was called Theresa uh, Wiesen, the Theresa Meadow, where Oktoberfest is. So it started in eighteen ten, uh, and basically the Bavarians decided that it should be a festival they carry on. Well, and why, why wouldn't you? Well, it's it's traditionally it was horse racing. It never was about beer, and it's still not about beer. It's about everything that's Bavarian. But hang on, for for any tourist that goes there, it's, yeah. about, it's about beer, isn't it? So it is. you know, when you went there, did yes. you go there thinking I want to go and celebrate Bavaria, or did you go <laughs> I want to go and drink beer? I did want to think go and I want to drink beer, and it was massively packed. But do you know what? Sixty percent of the people that go to it are German and okay. I think it's about 40% are from Munich. It's a proper Bavarian festival and it's they've got carnivals, it's about the food, you know, the, 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 the pork schnitzels, the, um, you know, <laughs> the pretzels. It's not about the beer. Fantastic, so should we open these up and see how they are? I think so. Let's open these bad boys up. Yeah. You got to pour better this time. I know, I've got to try harder. The last one wasn't really very good, was it, to be fair? Try and get ahead on the last one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, that is a, it's a, it's a, again, it's a good looking beer, isn't it? It's a lot more golden, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I've done a much better job this time than I did last oh, time. Oh, good man. <laughs> good man. That's a lovely golden colour, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 I think it's darker than the, probably the last one. Sparkling, that we've yeah, yeah, definitely. Made, yeah. Sparkling, which yeah. is what, probably what more I expected, to be honest with you. I mean, the head was looking pretty nice. It, we, we've been away for a few minutes yeah. now, but it's still sticking around, isn't it? Yeah, and the colour, like you said, great colour. You can read you, could, you could definitely read a beer by one. Ah, ah, there's no point getting out. <laughs> Carbonation looks great. This is what I was thinking, definitely more an amber colour for me. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. So for me, again, it's a nine. Because yeah. it's what I expect. It's got it's got to be a nine. It's crystal clear, it looks good, it's got a nice head. It's got to be a nine out of ten. I'm, I'm already salivating. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't even taste it yet. You've no, got to smell sorry. it first. No, okay, okay. All right. Whole face in. Again, there's zero hop, yeah. zero hop aroma. <laughs> yeah, it's very it's sweet. A bit of malt, tiny bit of spice. No sweetness though. No, that's actually very clean. Pepper. It smells clean. Again, it smells clean. On the fairness of what I give the other Oktoberfest, it's a six point five again for me because I'm only being fair. It smells fairly similar, so yeah, I'm going to give it a six six. 
Yeah, so it's dropped from a 6.8, mm -hmm. not as much happiness now. No, yeah. this, is, this is, it's still good, but I'm gonna say 6.6. Six, six. That's, that's what I feel right now. Okay. And I'm looking forward to this bit. Yes, it's the most important bit. Cheers, guys. Prost. Prost. Oh, I like that. I really, really like that. That, I prefer that to, yeah. to the other one. Even the carbonation is yeah. better. Yeah. Um, mm. it, it feels like there's more going on in the flavor when it first hits your tongue to the after. The mouth feels a lot better. Yeah. Great mouth feel. And, and, and even though this, this beer is actually 6.1 stronger. This is 6.1%. Yeah. The last one was 5.9. You don't 9. get the alcohol in that though, do you? You don't. You don't. Okay. You don't get alcohol just right in your face on this one. So this is. It just feels that I've got to go in a second time. That's a real lick your lips sort of. Mm. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah. That really is yeah. good. I mean, this is going to be a. It's going to be a high score for yeah. me. This is a. If, you know what, I'm going to break the mould of my usual 0.5 or solid ones and it's an 8.7 for me. I think this is a, probably a 9.4. Wow, like, this is really a, like this. This is a really, really nice beer for me, yeah. Yeah, this is, this right is up your street. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the colour's amber, but it, it's taste pure gold. <laughs> God, you need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fantastic beer. It yeah. gets a real high taste, so it's a good for me. That's uh, even the carbonation is great. Those look, you know, it's because you know usually you get the bottles you're talking about big, big bubbles before, but no, that's out the bottle. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Good. This was um, two pound ninety for a five hundred ml bottle. So that's five pound eighty for a time. It's the same as the Smartin, but obviously we've enjoyed this a lot more. So yeah. I mean, that's brilliant. I, I, you know what? I might have to repeat the flavour score. I might have to give that an eight point seven. Because I, 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 I would not quite. I, I would if no, no. if they were selling down the corner. I would be buying this beer all the time because that is brilliant. I'd go for a nine. And, and, nine and it's half a litre as well per bottle. So it's not your standard, you know, 330 ml bottle. So no, not at all. I give it a nine for the uh, for the price there. And and then when we, when we go back to sessionability now, I mean, this is ha. it's not a weak beer, is it? It's definitely not a weak beer, but it's built for being sessionable. Yeah. So does it meet your sessionability? It, it does, because although it is stronger than the last one, it doesn't taste stronger. I I could try and well, I would try and session it. I'd fail <laughs> <laughs> because I'd be sat there drinking it and I would probably pass out, but I would probably give this an eight on the session ability. So, well, we never managed to make it into the Lohenbrau or, or Lovenbroi tent because it was too busy for good reason for the beer. So, but I would say I would be able to drink the same amount as Spartan. So uh, for me, it'd be an 8.5 again. Fantastic, okay. So I suppose with, with all that in mind, this has been all around a fantastic beer and I know it's gonna score highly. Yeah, and I think it's really surprising these October Fest beers because they're like, are they hells, are they pills, and what you know, what are they? But but it doesn't matter. They're October Fest. They're, they're worth great. the celebration beer. That's yeah, what oh yeah, say. definitely. And and I think this definitely is going to be something that we're going to have to do. The Oyster Boys on tour are going to have to go over to October Fest and check these out. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But for this one, here is the Oyster score for this beer. If you like what you saw today, check us out on Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. Obviously, you're watching. Yeah. It. Like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Please do. If you know any beers that you'd like us to try, any other festival beers that you think are really good, we'll find them. We'll drink them. We'll rate them. Yeah. 100%. Oh, out.